Hi Collective, welcome to the channel. I'm Crystal, a Divine Psychic Medium here delivering messages to you from the higher realms. So welcome in everyone. So this is going to be my fun reading that I'm doing with my new deck, the um, 88 Miracles. This was a gift that I got for Mother's Day. So um, it says 88 Miracles Red Panda. So, ooh. Anyway, let's get into this. So the purple really caught my eye too. And the gold, right? I really, um, it's definitely in alignment with the energies that I'm feeling. This purple gold frequency. See the Sacred Light Oracle. I did um, two readings with this deck. Whenever I'm guided here, see the gold gilding and the purple, there's definitely been an ascension that's happened, right? Mommy. I'm doing a reading, baby. She's okay, I know. <laughs> She's all right. And we just got our kitty back, so um, she had to undergo some treatments. And okay, so um, anyway, I've got the girls busy with her. So um, anyway, ooh, let's see. Oh, that's so cute. Ooh, the book is pretty. It's a really thick book. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. And it's got silver gilding. Ooh, this is pretty. Ah, look at all the moons in the clouds. <laughs> I had no idea it was going to be so big, too. It was one that I found online. I'm doing a reading. Okay. So let's see. So this deck was a lot larger <laughs> than I thought. I love getting surprised too when I order decks. Oh wow, look at that. Ah, oh, look, there's the panda. So it's gonna be the journey of the panda, right? Oh my gosh, there's sparkly. Ooh, look at the emperor wearing the crown and the ankh. Ooh, this is gorgeous. So it's going to be the journey of the panda. So we'll have a panda on each card. I'll strength card. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the tower. He's in the tower and those silver lightning bolt. Wow, I love this silver. I love how large it is. The magician. Hierophant. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the death card. <laughs> oh my gosh, and the star. Look, he's holding the star. Very nice. Okay. So, oh my gosh, there's a rainbow on temperance. Oh, I'm falling in love with this deck. The moon. <gasps> oh, look at the empress. Oh my gosh. This deck is out of order, too. What? Okay. That's interesting. Look, you seen. I didn't shuffle this deck, right? So all of these are in order. All of the court cards. King, queen, knight, page. Right? And then it goes ten of wands. The ten. <clears throat> Yeah, 10, 8, 7, 6. So everything's in order. 5, 4. Everything's in order. Wow. This is what I'm going to show you. So this is all in order, but the Empress is right next to the moon. You see me. I was surprised, right? The first card that I showed you, remember, was the Fool. So the emperor was over here by the strength card. It's like the emperor and the empress are out of place. The strength card was next to the emperor. 
So those are the first three that I showed you. And then it got into the Hanged Man, the Tower, the Magician, the Hierophant. Okay, so the Majors are out of order. So normally they're all in order, so the Majors are... Um, it started out with the Fool. But yeah, all the court cards are in order, but the Majors are not in order. The ending is, though. World, judgment, sun. I don't know. I pay attention to those things. A lot of times when I first pull out a deck, I take a look at um, what the bottom card are, what cards are standing out to me. But the Empress next to the moon, so some sort of secret or illusion, something getting revealed, and then something about the Emperor over here by the strength card. And the fool. Uh, Emperor and the Empress have been. It's always like, I always look at the journey. I guess because of being on the Twin Flame Collective, I'm always looking at the journey of the Emperor and the Empress. So those are like the biggest cards that I watch. Right? Look at the Emperor. Oh my gosh. There's a raccoon. <gasps> wow. That is interesting. Because raccoons, I've been talking about, if you've been watching me of the spirit. The, um, the Witch is Familiar Oracle that my daughter got me is I was talking about trash pandas because the raccoons for the first time ever have been referred to as the trash pandas to me. And I was like, that's so significant. And I got the raccoon and I was talking about it being the trash panda on the reading that I did. And what's interesting is I just showed you this is the journey of the red panda, but there's a raccoon with the five of cups. So this is like, Wow. So there's a couple allies here. I look, six of cups. So there's a couple other characters. Okay. And then there's the seven of cups for the teddy bear. See, that's about illusions, right? See, I feel the message I'm initially getting, this is why I love to do first readings on, on recording, right? Like the unboxing. So you're going to see how I'm going to interpret this deck, right? The seven of cups, right? It's like an innocent, sweet little teddy bear, right? But, you know, um... Seven of Cups is about illusions, right? And not fully seeing things as it is. Right? So it's like, you know, you could have seen something as being like sweet and innocent or whatever, but then finding out it was like a trash panda, right? Which, like a phony emperor, a false, you know, because then there's this Eight of Cups that's next to the Five of Cups. So there's this walking away, this ending, like I felt some sort of illusion was exposed. Somebody's walking away. Someone, look, in the Nine of Cups, someone knows that they're in this beautiful, loving, sweet energy. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Because right away we're getting the story about an emperor. So maybe this is going on in an emperor's world, right? Or we all embody emperor and empress energies. But somebody could be um, taking authority and action over the world, seeing through illusions and secrets, getting strength and courage to make movement. Look at the chariot. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm really excited to take a look at the book. To, hold on. If it's colored. Oh, no. No pictures even. It's all reading. There's reversal meanings in here. So that it looks like there's general. Wow. There's career, general, and love readings for each. Wow. That's why it's such an in-depth book. So I'll definitely actually take a look at, at those, right? So right away, I'm going to the Two of Cups. Interesting, because the Two of Cups has got the teddy bear and the raccoon on it. And the lovers. Wow. So, Two of Cups and the lovers. A choice of lovers? Is that what's coming out here? Oh my gosh, I love this silver gilding. It's so cute. And the blue and the gold. There's definitely a choice here. Two of coins with the three of coins. 
there's a collaboration. See, and that's the three of them. There's a collaboration that's coming together. Eight of Wands, fast movement. A new beginning is coming in fast. Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. Five of Wands, Six of Wands, wow. I feel there's been some sort of like chaos, conflict, fighting, battling, but it's in fact been training and preparation. It's been preparing you because there's victory and success or you're going to be having some sort of victory and success over adversity. Oh, I can't say that. But it may require you to walk away from these people. I feel that there's this major leveling up. Maybe you were in like a training place where you were at there was seven of swords eight of swords there was lies deception betrayal but it was allowing you to grow like your intuition to grow your skill set your to grow your boundaries it was leveling you up six of swords but now movement's required because you're coming into balance that's often what happens to chosen ones. Like, yes, things happen and go against chosen, but it's always for their training. It's always to level them up. Everything is always watched and recorded. It's like everything that you do against a chosen one, right? It's going to help them on their path. You don't mess with the chosen because <laughs> you will be getting karma for it. And that's what's happening. Mm, chosen ones are getting their dresses it's here if you haven't figured out by now my channel is for the chosen light workers earth angels and my enemies but for some of you it's for you to see the show <laughs> for others you it's for still healing purposes either way it's, it's healing for you um or it meant to be ace of cups page of swords there's new love here but maybe strategies required or gathering more information or someone's doing that on you. King of Cups, Ace of Coins. There's a new beginning here. The very loving offer. My nose is itchy, so I'm on point. This could be something you manifested with the magician. <laughs> you keep showing the Nine of Cups. Maybe you're in this Nine of Cups energy. Nine of Coins. There's an offer coming in that has to do with Legacy. Ten of Coins. That was beautiful. The Hermit with the Hierophant. So you could be getting called to go within. Spending some time in isolation, spending some time with yourself to get some sort of enlightenment, to talk with divine. Because ultimately you have to, yeah, you're going to get some sort of enlightenment, ace of coins. And spirit's also calling for you to spend some time because you need to make some decisions. And um, they come to you, talk with you. They want to make sure you're not getting influenced by outsiders. And also for some of you, because you've got to heal through. You need some time. The enemy will keep things will keep things with chaos and conflict to stop you from healing, to stop you from having some time alone, to process things. Okay. Um, confirmation, I'm telling the truth again. Some sort of communication needs to come in, I feel, with the King of Cups. Or some sort of secret illusion needs to be revealed. You're going to be getting some sort of clarity about a King of Cups when you spend some time alone. But there's also a collaboration. Five of Coins, Six of Coins. Well, isn't that interesting? I feel you're coming out of this temporary fear of, um, it could be abandonment or not having enough or some sort of like depletion of resources. I feel it's temporarily. Okay. 
because there's a king of wands here. Ooh. Interesting. I feel it's like really quiet too. I don't have my music on. My phone quit, or my phone, my fan quit working in here. The Hermit and the Hierophant again. They're coming out again. So you definitely need to spend some time. Spirit's telling you to spend some time in isolation. You need to heal. Maybe you need to just spend some time alone to heal, to transform something. Because something is trying to stop you from healing and trying to stop you from your wish fulfillment. Divine's trying to bring something in for you and the enemy's trying to get you to miss it. I've been getting that message for quite some time. Yeah, look. The sun, the star, and the lovers. You see that? It's your justice. The divine's trying to bring in your justice and the enemy's trying to block it. <laughs> yeah, look. Devil was right under that. Do you see that? The devil was right under your justice. The devil don't want you having this justice. So they're trying to block it. That's why they, you need to be very protective of your energy at this time. Devil could be coming at you in a myriad of ways. It's out to get you and um, it could get in anyone and anything to come at you to lower your vibration. Keep vibing high. This came out twice. And they weren't together because the way I shuffled, the way they fell separately, they weren't together and they came out again. This is a very, very strong message from spirit. Wow. All right. Well, that was the reading I had for you. I have to go. Cool. Off. <laughs> yeah. Somebody is strongly holding on to you. Four of um, pentacles of the death card. Somebody doesn't want this to end. They want to hold on to you because you're their source. Like somebody like pulled you down their timeline or they don't want you going to your next timeline. But they're but a block. And the devil's using somebody to hold you on a timeline you're not meant to be. So you've got, you got somewhere to be. <laughs> this is three of cups energy. Right? So anyways, love and light to all of you. Watch every full guided too. I'm going to be doing some more fun readings, of course, with 88 Miracles. So, um, in the year of an eight too, I just realized that and significant me seeing eights, right? I'll label them to 88 miracles, um, for any of the readings that I do with this new deck. And it's very beautiful. All right. Love and light to all of you. Bye.